Hi, I'm Ryan, Cycle Maniac. I recently got interested in the idea of a kickstand for my touring bicycle. My research indicated that the Ursus Jumbo was the way to go for a heavy-duty two-legged kickstand, but I found that the Ursus Jumbo had a younger brother, the Hopper, which didn't have a ton of information available online. The Ursus Hopper is, at least on paper, almost identical to the Jumbo. Other than that it's made of steel, it has a 30 kilogram less carrying capacity, and it's 20 bucks cheaper. I struggle to decide what to buy. I don't expect to ever need the full 80 kilogram load capacity of the Jumbo, and being cheaper to boot made it seem like an easy sell. So I bought one of each, and I figured I'd put one on my wife's bike. We both go on tours, after all, and she was as interested as I was to have an easier way to keep the bikes upright when packing up or taking a rest. The Jumbo arrived in a nice retail display package, which showcased the features of the kickstand. The Hopper, on the other hand, showed up in a box full of paper, already a bit scratched up and missing one of its plastic parts. So things weren't going well for the Hopper out of the gate. Putting them on the scale, the Jumbo weighed in at 1,179 grams, or a bit over 2.5 pounds. This is not a kickstand for someone counting the pounds on their bike. The Hopper weighed in at even 1,100 grams, or just a bit over 2.5 pounds. That's not accounting for the missing plastic piece, so I'll assume their weights are basically identical, at least if the Hopper has all of its parts. Taking a look at the construction of these kickstands a little further, the Jumbo gains a few nice touches when compared to the Hopper. For one, the Jumbo's mounting plate has these angled cutouts to allow shift and brake cables to pass through the kickstand, where the Hopper makes do with a smaller mounting plate to give the cables enough room. The Jumbo also features a replaceable nylock nut to screw into. This should help prevent the mounting bolt from backing out from vibration over time. There is no replaceable nut in the Hopper, and it doesn't seem to have any kind of mechanism to prevent the bolt from vibrating loose over time. I put it off for long enough, it's time to install the kickstands. I started off by installing the Jumbo. The installation didn't go quite as smoothly as I had hoped. Ah, see, I should have read the directions first. We're supposed to assemble with a competent person. Part of the trouble of installing the Jumbo was due to how that nylock nut goes in there. There's only enough room inside the Jumbo for the bolt to extend around a centimeter past the end of the nut before the bolt bottoms out. Basically, I screwed up when I guessed which bolt to use. Once I figured out I needed to use the shorter bolt, the process went smoothly and I got it bolted on. Ursus didn't provide any kind of torque specification for how tightly to install the bolt, so I tightened it down snugly, but tried not to go too far, not wanting to crush my chainstays by accident. After finishing installation of the Jumbo, the installation of the Hopper was a bit easier. For starters, since the Hopper's body is hollow, there's nothing to stop a bolt from being screwed in as far as your heart desires, which is, I suppose, why they include only one bolt in the package. Otherwise, the installation pretty much just worked. I double-checked that the chainring wouldn't rub against the kickstand in any gear and then got to testing. Starting off with the Jumbo, things were looking great. The kickstand clears everything important by a comfortable margin, and deploying the kickstand is as simple as applying a little bit of pressure with a foot and rolling the bike backward. Once it's deployed, it's staying upright. I was legitimately surprised at how far I could push the bike before it was ready to tip over. The Hopper, with its near-identical design, at least on paper, was able to pull off the same feat of keeping the bike upright in my weird testing, but things started to break down pretty quickly. I tightened the Hopper down just about as far as the Jumbo, but thanks in no small part to the Hopper's much stronger spring and perhaps its smooth mounting plate, no amount of tightening that I was comfortable with would get it to stay put when I tried to deploy it. I tightened the Hopper multiple times, but it just would not stay. I even tried sandwiching some spare bar tape between the mounting plate and the bike to add a little extra friction, and it still twisted almost immediately. With all my determination and fortitude, I gave up and pulled the hopper back off the bike. Okay, so it's not the most heroic tale, but if I can't get it working right on the stand, I can't possibly expect to fix it out on the road. With only one bike equipped with a kickstand, we went out on a test ride, and you know what? I've been holding out on using a kickstand too long. Deploying the Jumbo is fast, easy, and I can be confident the bike isn't going to fall over of its own volition. And the extra icing on the cake is that the bike is stable enough to lean the other bike against. Two kickstands for the price and weight of one. We're on our first ride with the kickstand, and it's actually working really smoothly. We've got a trailer and a pannier on the bike, uh, and then I, we've leaned the other bike up against it while we're, we're stopped for snacks, uh, and it's working just really phenomenally. So, so far, so good. We're still on quarantine, so touring has been on hold. The true test will have to wait. I'm eager to see how it goes.
comparing these two kickstands didn't end up working out the way I had hoped. I suppose it stops being a very good comparison when the person doing the comparing can't use one of the products that they're supposed to be comparing. But at the end of the day, assuming I was able to get both kickstands working, these kickstands should theoretically work almost identically. But I think the extra fit and finish of the Jumbo, on top of its additional load capacity, makes it worth the premium over the cheaper version. I hope that helps if you're looking at these kickstands, and happy touring!